Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this particular video, we'll be discussing about what are data products. Now guys, as you know that each and every application that you use generates a huge amount of data, right? So this data, if utilized in a proper manner, can help a lot of business, you know, in many companies. So if I just talk about data products, I probably think everyone has basically used these data products, but they may not be considering it or they may not be calling it as a data product because they may not know it. But most of the applications like YouTube application, Instagram, you know, and if I just talk about Amazon, you know, Amazon.com, Netflix, these all are actually data products. So how do you define what exactly it uh, is a data product in short? So I would like to just say that any application, you know, that is actually using data to achieve the final goal. Now the final goal may be anything, okay? targeting the right customer, targeting the ads with the right customer to the right customer, or giving some proper recommendation to the end user in amazon.com, in amazon.in, whenever you are trying to buy some products, and suppose you buy an iPhone, suddenly you'll get a recommendation of some, you know, some headphones of re with respect to that particular iPhone, right? These all are kind of different kind of recommendations. At the end of the day, what is this application? What are these data products doing? They are taking the data, you know, they're using the data to actually to achieve some goals. Okay. And the goal may be anything targeting the right kind of customers that may, I'm just giving an, as, as an example. Now, let me just tell you about some of the data products. Now they, I would like to actually categorize these data products mainly into three types. One, I'll be saying based on algorithms. Now, this algorithms may be a machine learning algorithm or deep learning algorithm. Just consider that you have actually created a deep learning model, which actually classifies dogs and cats. Now, once you make this particular algorithm or a model with the help of deep learning, right? What you do is that you deploy this particular model into a cloud, actually create an API and then give it to the front end user, right? Anybody can consume that. Then from the front end user, what we do is that we use that algorithm, which is as a service. Why I'm saying as a service, because it is deployed somewhere and that API is exposed to any front end user. So the front end user consumes it. What it has to give, it just have to give the image in the byte format and automatically you'll get the output saying that whether that particular image is a cat or a dog. So this is an example of one of the data product, which is of type of algorithm as a service. You know, you have created a model, you have actually deployed it in the cloud and you have actually exposed it. Now, the second type of data product is basically called as decision support data product. Now, what is this decision support product data product? And many of the products is basically classified into these three techniques only. Okay. So decision product, uh, decision support data product. I would like to take an example of Google analytics. Now, if you have actually used Google analytics and if you're using it, you know, you may be able to track, like suppose if you have created your website and if you're putting that Google analytics code into that, it is very, very good for SEO also. Okay. You'll be able to see that how many people have actually visited your site on which page people are actually coming to the site, how much time they are actually spending. Now this all information in Google analytics dashboard, you'll be able to see this visualization stuff. Now in short, why I'm calling this as a decision support, because they have a fixed kind of analytics dashboard, which will actually help you to showcase how that particular data is present over there visually. So this is one kind of example of decision support uh, data product. You know, they, the data is just put up in inside that particular dashboard automatically. You know, the dashboard only retrieves the data and automatically all the visualization graph is actually created in front of you. So this is a kind of decision support data product. Over here, your dashboard only requires the data. Okay, all the other things is actually given by the dashboard itself. And all the heavy activities are also done in the dashboard itself. Now the third technique, which is the most popular technique, uh, many of the application like YouTube, you know, Netflix, Amazon Prime uses this particular technique. And this particular technique is called as automated decision making data product. Now what exactly this is? Take an example of YouTube guys. Suppose you're very much interested into data science, right? And uh, you've searched many things related to data science. 
So what happens after some time is that when you are going and seeing some videos in YouTube, you know, what will happen? Some ads of data science will come in front of you, right? So this basically means this automated decision making data product, which is basically the YouTube channel is learning from your behavior is learning is tracking all your details, all your history, like what you are actually interested in. And based on that, it is actually recommending you some kind of ads related to data science because you are the right customer. You are the targeted customer. Some other examples I'd like to consider is Netflix. Suppose I like only action movies. I'm seeing some action movies, you know. So after some amount of number of movies that I have actually completed, based on that particular similarity of the movie, I'll make it recommended some other action movies, you know. And similarly, this happens in Prime Videos also, Amazon Prime Videos. And this kind of product, this kind of product is automated learning. It is basically learning all the information that you have actually, uh, you know, searched before your interest and then it is learning and it is also recommending those things in front of you so i like to call this as automated decision making data product that basically means as the information is as your search as you are searching a lot of things the application is learning from your behavior and then it is actually recommending you some of the things so these are the three basic kinds and in most of the application you will find this guys remember Nowadays, every business is creating data products. It is basically for their profit to make things easy to target the right customer. So data product is very, very important. And in some of the interviews, you get asked this kind of questions. What are data products? And many of the people have not heard about this. So I hope you like this particular video. Please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day ahead. Thank you one and all.